As a filmmaker, uh, you know, I have my own opinions about how I would like to see a, a film program run. And um, Linda Duke here at the museum um, asked me if I wanted to do a project. And so I got together with Linda and Carol White and with Tariq Robinson. And we put together this very experimental program called Smuggling Daydreams into Reality, where we would take a group of high school students and give them uh, pretty much a crash course in visual filmmaking, you know, like focusing on the visual more than the theory. I've never like played around with film. I never was interested in it until I got here and I messed around with it and now I like it. The part I like best about the map experience was that like when I was editing, it was hard work, but at the end, like my work paid off. I enjoyed the finish when it was all done. I enjoyed more of the filming because I filmed what I wanted to film and like what angle I wanted it from and how I liked it and what it really meant to me. So I liked that part the best. I'm looking forward to making more videos as I go on because it's fun like capturing your what you're doing and getting to show people what you do. The thing that I enjoyed most about the project was working with the video editing software. I thought it was pretty cool, and I think it's a skill that'll come in handy in the future. I think that you always learn something when you're working with young people, and I've, I've learned quite a bit. It was fine. I learned a lot. I really liked it. Learned about editing, you know, the different angle shots and what they're called, panning, track. But it was more that I expected, or that exceeded my expectations. Yeah. I'm Jackie Boothman, and I work for the Indianapolis Museum of Art as a security officer. I've been so impressed with this program. Um, I've been involved in things before, but this has been such an honor. Watching these children grow and learn has been a experience for me because I have also learned. It has been very uplifting for me, getting to know the kids, it has given me such a warm heart. And being able to work with somebody, you know, that's deaf, it's rewarding. It's just so rewarding. We had an uh, exercise called fishbowl where they would just reach into a jar and pick out uh, a phrase, a noun, or a verb, and then they would have to walk around the museum and, and make a film about that and, sh and shoot that in, in any and every way possible. And that really stretched their creativity and their imagination and their curiosity of, of, of the immediate environment around them, which was the museum, the IMA. But when I was here, I mean, there was so much to film. There was so much to interpret. You know, I mean, like my first uh, film project, like The Angel of Resurrection. You know, I mean, that's something that I never really could have thought of, you know, but then when I'm there, I mean, I just, they, they inspired me to come up with, you know, ideas, different ideas. I mean, when I look at them, I'm just like, hey, it would be cool to do this and this and this, and then when I do it, it turns into some of the films that you have, you're going to see. So I think even after this program ends, that uh, they still will have a new way of looking at the world, they certainly have an individual point of view that, you know, some came with a point of view, some did not, but they all definitely now have a point of view and a curi more of a curiosity around what's going on around them. I like making the film. It's just nice to go out into the gardens, film flowers, or, you know, just look at life a little bit more. We started out with seven students and one had to leave and we now have six, uh, but I've seen many changes as they have become more relaxed with me and with Tariq and uh, with their working within the museum and I've seen them, uh, some of them really gain a very profound and deep focus for editing. Uh, and learning the, the whole process of manipulating footage and images that they've shot. I've seen uh, imagination and creativity blossom 
Here you have a bunch of high school students who were kind of put into a, uh, an environment that was unfamiliar. Uh, they didn't have their friends around them, they didn't have their families around them, and they were able to express themselves in a genuine way. Thank you for the experience of working at the MAP in the museum. I am more social, I interact with different people and give me better communication skills. My experience this year as a MAP student has been a great one because I've had the opportunity to do things that I otherwise would have never ever been able to do. This experience has had an impact on my life. It taught me just to keep going and not to give up, take things more slowly through because it'll be worth it in the end. My experience has been like a good experience that I would never forget. It's like getting to meet new people and working with people. I liked it all of it. Yes, of course, I'm looking forward to making more videos. I'm making videos now. I'm making videos tomorrow and forever. Since I consider this a career opportunity, my advice to whoever is paying attention listening, if there's a career opportunity, don't make it a large opportunity.